France wakes up to its first socialist president since Francois Mitterrand in 1995. Gronje McCarthy joins us from Paris and, he, and she has with her Eric Shani, who is the chief economist of AXA. Gronje, good morning. Good morning. Champagne corks popping in Paris last night. What's the mood this morning? Um, well, the, the, the news we're getting this morning and the euphoria is probably fading a bit because I think uh, the reality of the job ahead for the socialists is weighing in. We, um, we uh, do have an inauguration date that's set for May 15th and then, you know, essentially President Hollande then would then have to hit the ground running. He has said he would go to uh, Berlin, make his first overseas trip to Berlin to visit Chancellor Angela Merkel. And then he has a number of, of high-profile international meetings right after that, including a G8 meeting in Camp David in the U.S. and a NATO summit in Chicago. A, a quick question uh, for Eric. Um, Mr. Hollande has made it pretty clear he doesn't think much of the rich. And if we look at the polling figures from last night, it's pretty clear they don't think much of him. What can they expect? What can France's uh, you know, a, 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 a monetary elite expect, expect from him? Will he go through with his threats? Oh, no, I don't think so. I, I think that it, it's absolutely crucial for France to remain as close as possible to Germany and to continue the euro. And uh, you know, this time there is no Banque de France to raise interest rates if there is speculation against the French debt. There is no defense whatsoever. So people on the markets in particular will focus only on one thing. How is it going between France and Germany? And how do you think, uh, what are the early um, you know, signals that markets will be paying very close attention to on that front? I think the markets will pay a lot of attention to the first meeting between Angela Merkel and Francois Hollande and whether a compromise is possible about the word growth. For Angela because Merkel, it means different things, right? Absolutely. For Angela Merkel, but also for Mario Monti, the Italian Prime Minister, growth is reforms. For François Hollande, it is more spending on infrastructures. So how do, you, how do you marry the two? What will the effective compromise be? Or what, what have we already seen in Mr. Hollande's campaign program that suggests there may be a compromise? Well, he suggested to increase the firing power of the European Investment Bank, but this has already been decided last year. Very easy to implement. But he would say, you know, that was my initiative. Second, he will want to have a new paragraph in the treaty about growth. And the Germans will be happy if it is only saying we want growth. Everybody wants growth. So a compromise is possible, but not on the fiscal part of the treaty, on which I believe that for the Germans it is just not negotiable. So do you see any kind of big risks now for financial markets? I mean, the reaction today, it's been, it's been fairly well, the, covered. The risks are in Greece, management of the Greek crisis, and the French will have their say. I think the next thing on the agenda is the 2013 budget. We will have some hints about the budget in July, but it will come in September. And I think the, the rendezvous for the markets is the budget in September. Uh, Grania, thank you for that. Uh, um, do we yet know uh, anything about uh, the sort of the team that uh, Monsieur Hollande is going to pull together? Do we know, for example, who he's going to pick as his prime minister? Yeah, that's, that's something that people will be paying a lot of attention to. Um, the name that's circulating um, here in Paris as the most likely prime minister is a man called Jean-Marc Ayrault, who is a 62-year-old socialist and is known to be a Germanophile. He speaks German and um, could help, uh, could be a little bit of a trump card potentially for Mr. Hollande in fostering close relations with Germany and with, and with Chancellor Merkel. The other name that's circulating is Martin Aubry, who, was a, who, was a, who competed with uh, Mr. Hollande for the socialist uh, candidacy and would be more of an endorsement of the more traditional socialist party if she were to get the position. And uh, do we, uh, what's been the reaction um, in the media to uh, Mr. Hollande's victory? Well, the front page of Liberation was kind of interesting. It, it said, normal. Which, uh, which is really uh, how Mr. Hollande has presented himself throughout this campaign, and I think it actually played a key role in his election. He said he would be a normal president, and he is a normal man, and the, the clear inclination was that this was different to President Nicolas Sarkozy's style, which often seemed um, uh, you know, hyperkinetic, and he had this uh, reputation of, of, of ruling in a whirlwind. 